Okay, this is going to be perfect dark with the Wiimote and Nunchuck. I already have my glove pie script running. Okay, I hit resume. And go full screen. And okay, here we go. I have it set up for the infrared. Ouch. Don't punch me, please. I'm trying to make a YouTube video. Okay, you know, it's actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought there was going to be a whole lot of coding involved, but I guess because Perfect Dark has this, if you see the on-screen cursor moves from side to side, this works out pretty well. I just have Glove Pie, the infrared set to match up to a virtual joystick with PP Joy, and everything else just mapped to buttons, and I have... Uh, Z is aim mode, and it works a lot better than with the N64 controller. I'd actually say the entire game works a little better with the Wiimote than the N64 controller. And especially on a computer, your frame rates stay up, and it's, it's really cool if you have the Bluetooth adapter and everything all set up for it. And even if you don't, it's pretty cheap. My Bluetooth adapter was a dollar and seventy-nine cents on eBay, and it just runs with the standard Microsoft drivers. All in all, it's pretty cool once you get it set up. One problem, however, is in the menus, when you point your Wiimote in different places, it kind of messes it up because that's set up to the joystick here. I'll, I'll go into a menu, and you'll see if I'm holding the Wiimote slightly out of place. goes kind of crazy so you got to hold it in the middle and I would just like to cover up the sensor and move it out of the way so then you can just use the nunchuck without the infrared sensor messing up what you're trying to do but uh, overall I really like it it's really cool you should give it a shot